What is Captain Ron smoking today? Hey everybody, welcome back to another week of The Fogo Life. I'm your host, Captain Ron. What the heck are we smoking today? Can you guess? It's not an alligator tail. Nope, it's not an iguana. It's not a tadpole. Nope, it is beef oxtail. That's right, oxtail. I know you're used to seeing them in little kind of discs almost. No, I went to my store and I never saw this before. So, this is my first time ever trying this. So today, we're gonna experiment together. You, me, and this oxtail and the big green eggs. Now, let's get started. Now, oxtails are a really unique piece of meat. They're a different kind of cut. And the thing about this is that inside there's so many connective tissues. So we're gonna smoke this slow and slow first. What we wanna do is we wanna break down all the connective tissues and make that meat nice and tender. The second step, we're gonna braise it. We're gonna put it into a pan with liquids and some vegetables and get it braised so it should be really shred apart. Normally you'll see it cut into sections and cooked like that. I'm curious if this is gonna make a difference cooking it whole. We're crazy, so we are gonna cook it whole. The first step we're gonna do here is we're gonna take this. It has a lot of really thick fat on it. You can see on the end here, it's really thick fat. So we're gonna trim some of this extra fat off. We're gonna leave a fat layer on there, a little fat cap, but we're gonna trim a lot of the bulk excess fat off of here. And there we go, there's all our trimmings. You know what? It's not garbage, folks, nope. It's going right into the tallow bag that I save in the freezer for when I'm ready to make more tallow. Did you not see our tallow video? Check it out. Trimming complete. Next step, seasoning. The world of seasoning is available to you, whatever you want to do. The, the world is your oyster. A lot of people just do salt and pepper and garlic, okay? We're gonna use some of Tina, Cannon blend, Tina Cannon's European blend seasoning, and we're gonna add in, we're gonna sprinkle a little bit of uh, Alfragoni's chimichurri on it, the dried chimichurri. So we're gonna season this up nicely with that, but first I'm gonna coat it in Wagyu tallow. You can season yours however you want it, okay? By the time you smoke and braise it, a lot of the flavors kind of meld together anyway. But these already have a nice amount of salt and pepper in them, so we're just gonna go with these seasonings and then smoke it, baby. Y'all know what time it is. Time to light the grill. Couple things we can talk about now while this is heating up. A, you can see we had plenty of charcoal in there already, so I didn't really need any to add any more. Emptied out the bottom of a bag of black bag that we had here, just a little bit extra, so I put that in. But we really had plenty of charcoal left from the last time we cooked. So when you shut your vents down when you're done cooking, the next time your charcoal is there. Now, today's cook, we're gonna be cooking indirect. Now, many of you do know what that is already. I know, relax, simmer down, just hold on a minute, all right? But for those that don't know, indirect means that we're gonna use our convector, okay? This is a deflector, and what it does is it causes the heat to come up around the edges like this and sort of create a convection kind of thing inside the egg. So what we're cooking on, basically, is a smoking convection oven when you're using indirect in the big green egg. So, that's what we're gonna do. So we set this in with our tab in front, does anybody know why we put this little tab in front? Why do I do that? If you know, leave it in the comments. If you have the right comment, I might even send you a prize. And now, while the grill is coming up to temperature, which we're gonna smoke these at 275 degrees, let's talk about this. We're gonna use this pan here. Now, I could just put this right on the grates and smoke it just like that, but all of this beautiful fat, all of this beautiful stuff here, we wanna collect that all and put that into our braids. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray this whole pan down with duck fat spray first so that nothing sticks. We're gonna lay our oxtail right across it like that because what's gonna happen now, as we smoke it, the fat's gonna render down, the, the um, bone marrow inside might even come out a little bit. We wanna catch all of that because when we put it in the pot to braise, we want it all to be collected in the bottom of this pan so we can just pour it right into the braise. With that, we are at 275 degrees on the smoker, so on to our next step. We're gonna put some smoke in here. For smoking wood, we're gonna use bourbon barrel blocks. Smoke your bourbon. Oh, it's like a party in a bag, to quote my friend Russ Welch, Eager Egger Welch. Thanks for that quote, Russ. These things are awesome. They're made out of actual bourbon barrels. So they're small chunks of wood that have been cut up out of the barrels, and we're gonna use a bunch of these to smoke this with. With that, we have reached 170 degrees on our oxtail. <laughs> It is looking gorgeous too. Look at that beautiful color it's got. Oh, and all of that fat that we caught here is gonna go right into that braise. It's gonna be awesome. Let me go grab my pot and we'll get this thing started. For the next part, you see I opened up the vent. I'm gonna let this thing heat up. I wanna bring it up to about 350, 375 for braising. But we're gonna chop some veggies now. We're gonna make our braise. We're gonna put it all 
into our beautiful Rommertoff Dutch oven right here. It's very grill safe, it's very grill friendly. So we're gonna put it right in here, we're gonna put everything in, we're gonna put the liquids in, our chopped veggies, and let it all cook together. Make this thing super crazy tender so it just shreds like butter, baby. You can use as much onion or as little onion as you like. I like a lot of onion. Beef broth, ooh. Dry white wine, ooh. Now we want this about half covered. 50-50 mix. Now we're gonna use a little bit of tomato paste in here. I got a can of crushed tomatoes here, my favorite company, Flora. I'm gonna add about maybe a quarter of the uh, container in here. And lastly, I'm gonna hit it with a little bit more European blend. And with that, folks, we are ready for braising. Let the braising begin. It's that time, kids. So we smoked this thing for two hours, and now we've braised it for almost three hours. And I just checked it. All right, time to pull this off of here. Set it down there. Always make sure you set it someplace safe. If you could smell that, your mouth would be watering right now. You know how I know that? Because my mouth is watering right now. It smells unbelievable. It smells even better than it looks, and it looks awesome. Set it in here. Now look at that. Look at that gorgeousness. It is freaking beautiful. That's good. I won't lie, I had to eat a little bit. So we got all this beautiful meat here all shredded. It just falls apart, so beautiful. Now we got the skinny end right here, right? And this beautiful bowl of liquids, let's see. If I had two and two, that would probably make four, right? So I'm going for it. Oh, I just made that up. Look at that dunk. It's so good. That is ridiculous. It is so good. I mean, so good. I'm so, I, I tell you what, we may have found a new way to cook oxtail. Cook it whole, baby. Oh my God, it is so good. And like I said, this stuff just, I mean, it just falls off. It's its amazing. We had some stuff go on here today and we were gonna make mashed potatoes. You can serve this over mashed potatoes. Serve it over some cheesy grits, over polenta. It's fantastic. The beautiful part is you got all this gorgeous liquids and vegetables here, okay? It's fantastic, fantastic. It's so good, I can't, I, I can tell you all day long how good it is, but I'll stop right now, okay? Because it is just that good. Oxtails, who knew, right? Anyway, you can choose the flavorings of your choosing. But, you know, if you followed us here, you'll know down below in the description, there's a link for the whole recipe for this step-by-step, word-for-word recipe on how to make this yourself at home. It's simple, and man, is it good. You're gonna love it. So, I want you to do one thing for me. I'm gonna cut this short now, because I wanna get to this eating, all right? I don't think you can probably understand why. Remember to get out and grill, and I'll see you the next time on The Fogo Live.